I am the definition of a tryhard. Literally for the past five years, I have been basically like grinding away at this whole YouTube goal. Like ever since I quit that first toxic job I had outside of high school, it has been my main goal to make something of myself online, specifically with YouTube, because the more I thought about my old dreams as an actor, and then when I did The Night Before Halloween after that toxic job, it really invigorated this sense of like, I want to make this my job. This was the goal. This is still the goal. And <laughs> for years, I've done the thing that you're technically not supposed to do as a YouTuber. I have done big scale projects that have taken so much of my time and energy. I'm see, I'm tripping over my words. Definition of a tryhard that I, I'm, I'm meeting. I'm trying to make this video punchy so that if anybody new comes along, uh, they're gonna see that, yes, I have indeed tried my damnedest for these past years, but the thing that has always been the prop and then stop recording on me again. Back to recording. <laughs> and even though over these five years, I've done so many different photo shoots, so many different self-improvement experiments, and so many different room makeovers, I kept having obstacle after obstacle after obstacle, trying something new, trying something new to figure out how the hell to do this YouTube thing full time. Because I know full well that you need to upload consistently to be able to make this dream a reality. That The thing I keep failing at is not coming up with my ideas. Quite honestly, I have too many ideas and it's very overwhelming. And the moment I give myself time to like do those ideas, my brain just tends to overload and I don't actually give myself the adequate time to tackle them properly. When it comes to doing the ideas, I've done the things. I've done the things over the five years, but to the rest of you guys and I guess anyone who really knows me aside from like super close-knit friends that have helped me with said projects, it looks like I've done nothing or close to nothing. And the reason for that is because during that f grand amount of time, I have never finalized them to the point of actually editing the footage that I've done that I haven't had the knowledge or time to actually like put in the effort into editing the videos to be the best they possibly can be, something that I'm proud of. And the few times that I have figured it out and had to do it and genuinely enjoyed the experience of doing it was my most successful videos. The This Is Halloween live action the Moving to Japan episode one. I'm gonna be moving out for the first time ever, all the way to the other side of the world, all by myself. And the Moving to Japan episode two didn't do quite as well view-wise, but I still look back at that video and I am so proud of it. But the corresponding theme of all of these is that This Is Halloween collectively took me three months with some footage from a previous year of multiple more months. And don't even tell me about the times that I've been like painting the costumes and all that. I'm feeling so done. <laughs> we were supposed to have the Jack costume finished yesterday. yesterday. On total in the pants and the front and the back of this jacket and the bow tie, mind you, I've probably spent at least 16 hours doing this. 16 hours that I'm not even getting paid to do it. <laughs> but it'll be worth it. God, I hope it'll be worth it. It is very time consuming. And then like the moving to Japan series, that was hours and hours of vlogging footage, probably at least 40 hours. And editing the damn thing took me three months. And then episode two also took me three months. But at the same time, the same thing with those is that I always had a outside force pulling me away from these videos that was preventing me from getting them uploaded faster which was a full-time job and actually living in Japan and trying to enjoy myself and not just like working behind my computer and you know trying to take this once in a lifetime opportunity because of all of that I decided to make the big jump technically a second time but like this time it's like I because I feel like more equipped for it and I have like ideas and 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 the know-how on how to edit I quit my job. I quit my full-time job. That was definitely very secure. <laughs> Although there are other problems with that job. We will get that into that much later when I'm actually making money for my YouTube channel where I can actually speak freely on it. But I quit that job to pursue this. And I mainly did it right now because it is Halloween season. And I have a few Halloween projects that 
Unfortunately, I was not able to carry out last year, being in Japan, and the year before that, when I started most of them, because I had a robbery. And quite honestly, that kind of killed my vibe around that time. I'm sure I'll eventually get through it, like talking with my friends right now, and they're helping a lot, and they're being very understanding, because it wasn't just my things in there that were stolen. Some of my friends' items were in my truck, too, to be delivered to them later this week. I'm just trying not to blame myself too much. So I wanted to have this new progression in life to start off strong and to finally try putting literally my entire time into content because that was the reoccurring factor and I'm pretty sure I said this already but I'm trying not to have this scripted and just be rambly so you guys can really understand how much this actually means to me and I want my 30s to be about finishing stuff not starting excuse me, not starting anything new. I just want to finish things, <laughs> not just be like, oh, I finished it, but like to the world, it doesn't actually look like I finished it. And that goes back to the try hard thing because I want people to see all the shit that I've made <laughs> and all the shit that I've worked so hard on. And I really thought that with all this extra time, I would be able to complete these projects and edit the videos at the same time for Halloween because this is all very time sensitive. I thought I could do all of it and also lose weight and go to the gym and train for my marathon every morning like Casey Neistat and I was doing his work schedule and it tr I've gotten a lot done these past two weeks. It doesn't look like it, but I've edited as fast as I can. I've worked on my bullet journals that also have to be released this month. I'm working on a freaking dress for a photo shoot that I didn't get to complete two years ago because of the robbery, because that dress was actually stolen. So I'm technically recreating a dress. And to be honest, I kind of had an epiphany last night after the eighth try <laughs> trying to fix this episode nine. And I realized that there's just not enough time in these two months, despite quitting my job, to actually upload all of these videos, to do Tokyo Mew Mew the last few episodes, to upload the Living in Japan series once a week, and make this dress, and make the front porch vlog, and do my extreme Halloween special that I haven't been able to do for the past two years, and a 30th birthday extravaganza upload on October 22nd. And now we're gonna turn into the Toki New thing. That has been the driving force to my channel's growth lately. And I love doing the Toki Mumu content. It, the new reboot really resurged my whole love for the series. And I really wanna have a little pocket of my channel be just about Tokyo Mew Mew. I mean, there are going to be some Living in Japan episodes that are like Tokyo Mew Mew centered because when the first season was going on, like I found some Tokyo Mew Mew stuff, not just the Tokyo Tower vlog, but the reaction videos of those last four episodes of season two. I don't want to upload episode 10, 11, or 12 until episode nine's working. And I've already spent a week on trying to get that stupid thing up and it's not even just like saying oh you know it has copyright but you can't make money off of it if it was that i would have released the damn thing already but it literally completely takes it off youtube completely like it just says blocked 100 percent. no one can see it i can't even share a private link to watch it and i know you guys really want to watch it and i really want to release it i worked hard on it just as hard as i did on the episode eight but i just don't understand why it keeps picking it up but because of that i think I think I have to do a whole resurgence on the edit and that's going to take me more time and I just want to apologize that it's taking so long because I also know that some of you are waiting on my link to watch the full series. So down below I will be linking the full episodes 9, 11, 9, 10, 11, and 12 for you to watch before my reactions are up. I feel bad that I've been holding off on it. I just wanted it to be like uploaded at the same time but I just was not expecting such copyright problems when I've had no issues with all the other episodes previous. So here is my plan. Whenever I can get Tokyo Mimu episode 9 actually fixed, all Tokyo Mimu related content will be released on Tuesdays, kind of as a mark to when it was getting released 
in Japan for each episode weekly, right? Because it got released on Tuesdays. Technically for me in Japan, it was on Wednesdays, but I already have an upload day on my crafting channel for that. So <laughs> Tuesdays it is. <laughs> and if you're here for the Living in Japan series, I welcome you. Thank you. It's a newer, newer series on the channel. <laughs> Those will be released on Thursdays since that's what I want my upload day to turn into for everything. But until everything that I've had filmed is uploaded, Living in Japan will be postponed until November. The Living in Japan series is the longest running series. There is over 100 episodes. So those will be on Thursdays. And anything else outside of that category, photo shoots, self-improvement videos, room makeover extravaganzas. <laughs> those will be released on Fridays. And so because of this, I decided for these two months, um, I will be trying to get up Tokyo Mew Mew New, despite all these copyright issues. But my top priority is finishing these Halloween projects that have been put on hold for these two years. And one video that was put on hold because it was literally filmed on my birthday in Japan. So you will still be getting one episode of Living in Japan, but it's gonna be released on my birthday. And for these two months, what you should expect from this channel is this huge Halloween special. The trailer will be dropping in two weeks. I forget the exact date, but I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> and the dates for that will be released in the trailer as well, but one of them will be released on Halloween. And I will be having two big videos to celebrate my 30th birthday on October 22nd. Uh, and if you're also interested in the front porch Halloween thing uh, that I'll be doing on my crafting channel because it's a very crafty, crafty project, you can check it out at Meraki Memories, uh, my second YouTube channel. It's uh, linked down below. So I hope you're ready for this brand new change. And I hope you're also understanding for the utter shit show episode nine has been. And I am not dead. I am working vigorously hard, as hard as I can, making up the most of my days to get this last dream to be a reality. So if you want to help me out, please subscribe. Please like any video that you actually like. Tell me what you want to see. Tell me what you're looking forward to. And I will do my best to deliver. And with that, I will talk to you guys very, very soon. <laughs> Bye.